So over my shoulder here is Charleston. Now, when most people say that they're moving to Charleston, they don't actually mean right here on the peninsula. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the top five places people are actually moving to when they move to the area. Welcome back everybody. As always, I'm Bill Olson, your favorite YouTube Charleston realtor. Today we're talking about one of the top questions that I get when people are researching the area, and that is where are people moving to and why do they move here? So we're gonna get into those top five places. But before we do, if you're considering a move or you've already moved to Charleston, like what area of town did you pick and why did you pick that? Drop it down in the comments. Let's see if it made the top five list. Um, spoiler, where I live actually isn't on this list and that is James Island. So it's not think I am picking favorites. We're gonna actually go through this list in alphabetical order. And the number one place on my list is John's Island. Now, one of the reasons people love moving to John's Island and the reason why we ended up moving to John's Island first was because of its location. Um, you're still relatively close to downtown. You're relatively close to the beaches. Uh, the cost of living there is slightly lower than James Island, which does put you a little closer to downtown and the beaches. But there is so much going on on John's Island. It, if you want to be in the middle of a lot of growth with a lot of locally owned businesses, John's Island is definitely the place to be. You know, one highlighted neighborhood there is the new construction neighborhood of Sea Island Preserve, where it's about a 700 acre neighborhood with 360 of those acres are actually being preserved for wetlands and neighborhood parks. Now, prices on John's Island, you can still find something between two and 300, but you know, be expected to have to do a little work in updating it. And then prices go all the way up to home listed right now in a specific neighborhood of Briars Creek as a gated golf course community at $10.5 million. Next up on our list, we're gonna head across a few bridges and it brings us to Mount Pleasant. Now, I'm not gonna lie about this. Most of the people that I talk to initially, Mount Pleasant is the number one place that they wanna to move to. Now, why is this and why don't they end up moving there? Well, there's three kind of main reasons why people really want to live in Mount Pleasant. Uh, one is the convenience and the location. You're very close to downtown and very close to two out of the three main beaches here in Charleston, that's Isle of Palms and Sullivan's Island. The second reason is the schools. Uh, greatschools.org and niche.com have put Mount Pleasant as some of the top rated schools in the state. And then the third reason is the convenience. With Mount Pleasant being so built up, you are never far from a restaurant or a store or a grocery store, so you don't have to go far. Now, the reason people end up not moving to Mount Pleasant is they get a little sticker shock. It is one of the more expensive places to live here in Charleston with small homes that need a little work are gonna start in the 400s and you can pay upwards of five million and beyond if you wanna be on deep water. The next spot on our list might actually come to a surprise for a lot of people uh, because it does get a bad rap for some reason and that is North Charleston. Now, one of the reasons why people move to North Charleston is the value. The median price in North Charleston is about 25% lower than that of the greater Charleston area. It's one of the last places where you can still find homes under $200,000. Now, the prices, of course, do go up from there depending on your neighborhood and if you wanted to be waterfront. There's even a northern section of North Charleston that falls into Dorchester District 2 schools, which is a highly rated school district here in Charleston. Um, on the other side, we do have Park Circle. Uh, Park Circle has seen a revitalization over the last five to 10 years and has really become the place to be whether you live there or not. And actually within Park Circle is the Academic Magnet High School, which US News and World Report has ranked as the number two high school in the entire country. The next spot on our list actually has the most closed sales years to date than any other area in Charleston, and it's probably due to its size, and that is Somerville. Now, Somerville is huge. It does have homes in all three counties, Dorchester, Berkeley, and Charleston County. But one of the main draws, again, we get back to this theme of schools, half of 
Somerville is in that Dorchester District 2 school district that I mentioned before. And on the other side, you do have the Cane Bay schools in Berkeley County. Now, one of the big draws of Somerville is people looking for new construction. Most of the new construction in the Charleston area happens to be in and around Somerville and it is also where the best values of new construction can be found. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that the further you get from downtown and the beaches, the further your dollar stretches, well, that takes you up into Somerville where you can find those values. And lastly, we're gonna head back into the city of Charleston, but not that peninsula area behind me, specifically the West Ashley area of Charleston, which is the area west of the Ashley River. Um, it's a very intuitive name they had for that one. Now, West Ashley is actually divided into three sections. There's inside 526, outside 526, and rural West Ashley. Um, for this, we're actually just talking about the inside and outside 526. This is where most of the homes are in West Ashley. Inside 526, you're gonna find a lot of older homes, most of them built in like the 50s, 60s in some of the neighborhoods. Um, they're gonna fetch a higher price and outside 526 is where you're gonna find a lot of the newer homes and newer construction, new construction out there. It's where everything is growing. Um, the reason people move to West Ashley is its location. I mean, the median price is just slightly higher than the median of that of the greater Charleston area but it still doesn't put you very far from the beaches and downtown and everything Charleston has to offer. You know, homes are gonna start in the three to four hundreds and they're gonna go up from there. So if you've moved to Charleston, you're thinking of moving to Charleston, like what area sounds best for you? Like where are you focusing in on your search? You know, if you want information about any of these areas or any other areas, please hit me up at info at livinginchs.com or I'll put all my contact information in the description below. Reach out however you'd like. And as always, if you're looking to buy or sell anywhere in the Charleston area, we'd love to be your realtor of choice. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.